to, to, to give you an idea of the seriousness of the issue we're dealing with, and I know we all do, I mean, over the period, mm -hmm. at least the last seven years, Galamsey conversations became topical because the president put out a statement. Mm -hmm. And I think that upon listening to it this week, I, I told some colleagues of mine that maybe the media's narrative of that statement also may have communicated something different. Yeah. Because I want us to listen to what the president said. Because there's a difference between a definitive statement of I am putting my presidency on the line mm -hmm. plus what he actually said that he is prepared to do so. Mm -hmm. So I had a number of people asking me questions whether he actually did so. <laughs> right. But take a look at this. I took the decision that that would be a betrayal of the trust that the Ghanaian people put on me in me on the 7th of January this year. And as a result, we established this committee within the government to design a policy for us, not just to stop it, to reclaim the land, to let our rivers work again, but also to see how we can figure a way for all these able-bodied young men who are involved in this activity to find an alternative livelihood. So it's a package. It's a package that we have designed to try and bring this menace to a conclusion. I've said it in the cabinet, and perhaps it's the first time I'll be saying it in public. I am prepared to put my presidency on the line on this matter. <laughs> I've heard it being said that uh, oh, I should be careful. These, some, many of these people voted for me, and if I continue this exercise, perhaps they will not vote for me again. If, if by the grace of God I'm in, I'm, I, I'm in a position, my party allows me to go again, and I have the health and everything to go again, that I'll not get it again. And I'll say to myself, well, this is a choice that all of us have to make as human beings. You do what you think is right, or do you do what you think will allow you to get along? I think that you do what you think is right. That is what you're required to do. Certainly. And, and that's a statement that I'm sure all of us here on the table do agree with the president on. Mm -hmm. You do what is right. Yeah. And not what would just let you get along. Mm -hmm. But whether he did so or not, at least we saw some evidence of some good development, at least with our water bodies getting mm -hmm. cleaner when, yeah. that, when there was a ban on all forms of small-scale mining yeah. within that period. Yeah. But afterwards, getting into the 2020 elections, mm -hmm. there was that commentary about, in fact, a statement that he made again, mm -hmm. that because mm -hmm. of that decision, mm -hmm. the party had lost some votes it's in a, the yeah. mining areas. Yes. 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 I think that may have changed the stance and then resulted in the retrogression of the gains that we had made at the time, quickly? Um, no, I, I think that, uh, listen, from day one, he never meant it sincerely. I'm sure why by not? that we all know that President Kufuadu has never meant well for this country. Why, why, why do you say he never uh, meant it? Sincerely? Oh, no, it was just sloganeering because, listen, no, even the fight itself, he was put up to the fight by the media. It's the media that started the fight, so he joined later. So for a president who is sleeping on the job, and then wow. the media start a fight. I remember those days, Bernard Avle, mm. you guys here, were pushing and pushing. So it's a media, <coughs> and then eventually, so it was individual journalists, as far as I'm concerned, that's where I observed it. Who started? Uh, you see, I've mentioned Bernard Avle, yourselves, and etc. Then later, the media coalition came on, before, before President Kufado joined. So he, he was a reactionary figure in the whole thing. And he just came for the headlines, just to say, I'm prepared to. This, but, but this at president. Least after that statement, as some action was taken, there was a ban. But what else? And then we saw the, the results of the ban, didn't we? And he never meant the ban. So the point is ah. that it's the media. So that's citizenry. Of course, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the media, you are the uh, uh, some fourth estate of the realm, okay? Yes, so you started, and then he joined. So such a person who joined a bandwagon, you know, sometimes somebody starts a good idea, you get many followers, but they don't quite understand it. 
And time has proven that he didn't understand the uh, bandwagon he joined because he never had any political will to execute what he's saying. Ah, I'm sure by now we all can confidently say over eight years, you see that this is a president who you can't point to anything that you can say that, listen, this man speaks from conviction. He speaks with conviction. This is his passion. No, 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 you don't see. Because even free SHS, now we see that time is shown that they roll back funding. As we speak now, free SHS is just funding about what, 20, is it 26%? The last time Kofi Asari did the analysis. So over 70% is borne by parents. Meanwhile, if you look at the beginning of it, the funding was greater. Then as the years went by, back, by, he rolled back. So I can confidently say, and we can analyze with so many policies, that Kufadro is not somebody who can walk his talk. He tries on slogans. Now we can say so with hindsight of over seven and a half years. Where is the legacy? He's gone. The only legacy that he's very proud of and is confident about is that his family has become rich. His family has become rich. The largest of the public purse. He's come to transform his family. They were struggling. Today, his family you is have rich. Evidence of the family. That is the it. Family oh, is but we I borrow, mean, we and Oforiata yeah. makes his card from Data Bank. Later, yeah. his daughters, the ambulance. There are more deals. Look, when Ekufado leaves office, you see more contracts that his family benefited from. So that one, we can say boldly that yes. The legacy you can paint on the Kufuado is that here is a president who came, brought family and friends. The very thing he said he was not going to do. He did a U-turn and brought so many family members, and they looted us, looted us as if there's no tomorrow. <laughs> looted us, I mean, to pub. So you, you there, was no, pub. There, was, there was no commitment, even oh, if no, there no, was no, no. I'm very sure of it. to the fact that at least a decision was taken by the president. And we saw results. Well, no, that, that one we call it in the natural course of events. So you see, where the whole public is going in a certain direction, generally, he had no, at that time, you know, he, he had just come. So he thought that, okay, he could ride along. But later he saw that, no, for his parochial interest, he doesn't have to follow the public interest, okay? He can do his parochial interest whilst we do the public interest. And that's why it's shown. The last time Abu Jinapo, I remember three days ago, Joy FM raised him online. He was struggling to defend it and now was beginning to get arrogant. He did too. Abu Jinapo had always spoken well, enthusiastically, very respectful. But the last time, because you see that over time, he's not been able to uh, see the implementation of a policy to stem Garam say he was getting very arrogant. I was like, uh huh, well, you see? That, well, yeah. You, it's yeah, now saying that nobody can tell him things. The president is giving him the mandate. Nobody can tell him anything. I was like, ah, nobody can tell you. Even the president, you are all to serve us. So people, citizens can tell you if it's not going right. So that's what I knew. And then they promised, you know what happened. So Joe F. Uh, with somewhere in, uh, uh, they said, uh, Raymond mm -hmm. they asked him to speak to them the next day. He dodged. Then they flew in there. So now they are going to look for a pack of, you know, have truths and have convincing matters and bring out later. So it's very clear. Look, citizens, let's be very clear. Ekufuado is shown seven and a half years that the only thing he's committed to is his family getting rich out of the public purse. That one, each time we borrowed, data bank made their share. That's why it's very consistent. But you see the Galamse one, they deployed Vanguard. Of course, the military too later got corrupt. They were also feeding off the, the uh, illegal mining, so we had to disband them. And that's how can sometimes, even though we, we don't like this poor governance, when people say the military should step in, then we are like, hey, this same military. You remember a champion for Tobedji Golf, mm -hmm. all those excesses. So maybe we should go on like this. If we pour onto the streets, but citizens, see, mass not... uh, action, maybe we can get results. Throw off this duopoly, Mr. Kofi that, 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 the MPP. Then let us also take over as citizens. Maybe try something else. Because as for politicians, hmm, you can't trust them that much. Except that Mr. Adams' party so far from Ekufado's performance, looks like they are a lesser evil, at least Mahomet's corruption, uh, 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 this track record, democracy, freedom of the press, etc., is better than a coup well, well, it, That's this, all. There's a, there's a statement that you made, and Mr. Adams, I'll come to you. And, and uh, I'll come to you in a bit, and we're trying to fix the, the, the Zoom quickly. But that statement about if there's lack of political will yeah. as has been exhibited, how about the citizens' willingness as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. to get into this. Because 
we have seen the devastation of illegal mining. Yeah. At least the media reports it every now and then. If yeah. the politician has failed, yeah. how about citizens? I, I, the last time I remember there was a demonstration on this matter, mm -hmm. I could mm -hmm. count the number of people on the street. Excellent. Yeah. So that citizen involvement mm -hmm. and we the people also mm -hmm. taking up this because mm -hmm. we are all affected. In fact, we are the most affected yeah. by this. How about that? Yes, very, very key. That's the thing. It's about the citizenry. You see, the politicians are a reflection of us. They are a microcosm of the citizenry. There is a deficit in our society, integrity deficit. Most of us want to beat the system. Most of us want to cheat. That's our nature. So lots of people don't want to step up to fight. Because this thing is very clear. Listen, when we analyze this thing, you go straight to the heart of it. You see that this is a very complex matter. But one of the four areas, or one of the main areas it brings to uh, four is that, listen, we need to change our uh, this policing system in the constitution, right? Because as we speak now, it's a culture of impunity. Uh, Mr. Kansi, you are aware that Adam, uh, listen, Adam Senanu, myself, uh, Dr. Uh, Ashigbe, mm -hmm. and Kwame Isidu Sapon, we reported Chairman Wunt me and Akunta Mining to the CID on 13th of October 2022. They, today, this is September, right? Mm -hmm. Just one month more, they will get two full years, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we reported Chairman Wunt me and Akunta Mining to the CID. What is Madam Ando Kofi doing? She's playing hanky panky with the uh, say, uh, complaint. What was the with last the update they give to you? The oh. last, uh, no update for over a year now. The last time we wrote to Madam Ando Kofi, that's the CID boss, was in April. She hasn't called us. And it also goes to IGP's desk. IG is also neck deep involved in this whole conspiracy to free uh, uh, how, Ando Kofi. How do you know that? that Good. So this involved. is how it happened. We, the four of us, presented our petition to the CID boss. Mm -hmm. But the media coalition presented their petition to IG. So then IG re re referred the petition, the same against Chairman Wintme. And please, in case you are not aware, Chairman Wintme destroyed for it, the town on Nimri Forest, the size of over 10 football fields, and there are videos. So when we did the petition, we added Erasmus as a Redonkos documentary on it, right? So you see pictorial evidence, etc. So the media coalition, they took their petition to IG. Then IG referred it to Madame Ando Kofi. And then they put, uh, at the time, there was this man, Superintendent Nkrumah, then there is uh, Mr. Poha, the investigators, etc. Two years now. Each time you push. Then, so we've only had one briefing. In two years, one briefing. We went there, then Superintendent Nkrumah said, oh, they are on it, they are on it. They have called Wint me in and granted him bail quickly. We were never even present. Meanwhile, police know that a lot of the time when you call in the accused or suspect, you like complainant to also come and witness the whole process for transparency. Right. Yet, the police called him with me and quickly granted him bail on our blind side. Then mm. months on, later before they told us that, oh, they've called him in, he's, they've taken his statement, and then since there is a hanky-panky, pussy-footy, hanky-panky, pussy-footy. You see how God works. You see the topic is back. So, Madam Andokufi and IG, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? What is it that you can't prosecute with me? Especially in view of the fact that this case against Wunt me, you have Abu Jinapo come on air to say that he never granted any mining lease to Wunt me to enter the tunnel Nimri forest. Number two, Martin Eisi, also on record, if you just Google them, you'll see them, mm -hmm. also came on and said, yes, the Minerals Commission had, didn't advise the minister to give any uh, uh, mining lease. You know, by our law, usually the minister signs the mining lease. So they declare that they didn't do the same. So for mm -hmm. Minister Powell in the same party, that's why I say I liked Abu Jinapo until that mm -hmm. speech he did three days ago. So Abu Jinapo, if you are listening, I think that your last interview on Joy FM was very shambolic. Well, you, you sounded very well, rude. Well. Maybe you should withdraw it. You're a young man, very, very young. In about okay. three months, you don't know where it's going. This okay. last statement is uh, not a good uh, all thing. Right. You, the, yeah. the, the, so, so let's go on. Yeah, because I mean, ha, why? I mean, he's our younger brother. We yeah. can tell him far, far, far younger. So we can tell him. Some, some of us can even claim to be what? A father to yes. him, right? So if it didn't go well, we'll tell him. Because there are times that he's done very well. Remember the Achimota Forest, the first one that came? Yes, though they are a bit complicit. But he was very enthusiastic. He kept bringing out information. And it helped a lot. You know, sometimes we come here to debate. Because we don't have all the information, we say things that are 
misleading because mm. public officers have held information. But that one, the first Achimota debate, not the recent one, he brought out a lot of information mm -hmm. and it clarified and showed how Ms. Adam, the, uh, Ms. Adams, your party, NDC, those days you two, you were involved in uh, this uh, cannibalizing this Achimota forest. That was good. I'm not supporting equalization, but at least he made it clear that the attempts to sell Achimota forest didn't start with the MPP administration, right? Mm -hmm. Good. So Mr. Uh, Jinapo did very well. So, and I liked him from that time, and I was watching until this interview he did three right. days ago, okay. right? Yes. Yeah, so the point is that, listen, he had come out. He says, listen, Chairman uh, Wuntme and Akunta Mining don't have any mining lease. So what is difficult about this case? In law, we call this open and shut open and shut because very very easy mm -hmm. when you look under the law the thing is that were you authorized to mine if you can't show your mining lease in court the case is relatively easy you see aisha one you see eventually when the aisha one case went to court you see she was convicted because it's paper the lease is a paper you, you it's either you have it or you don't this one we don't have different shades of gray mm -hmm. the mining lease is not an oral authorization so it's either you have the paper or you don't have it under the law. You see how Aisha Wan was uh, this, uh, convicted, tried and convicted, right? So with but, Abu Jinapur mm -hmm. minister making this statement publicly, please, I don't know if the producer can pull it out so that we'll play it. And then Martin you see also making mm -hmm. the, that wouldn't me and Akunta Mining have no mining lease. So IG and Madame Andokofi, what is difficult about this case? What at all is difficult about it? And look, and it's not as if they are seeking the advice of the Attorney General. No. You see, mm -hmm. the reason I can say it's not as if they are seeking the advice of the Attorney General is that the last time I heard the Attorney General on radio on this matter, he said he's not aware. You see, because, uh, you know, that was when they issued the from Pom Watin report mm -hmm. and were very upset about it and also another shambolic report, right, uh, from the Attorney General. So then the journalist asked him that, what about the Chairman Wunt Me case? And he said, no, it's not been brought to his attention. And that's less than a year ago. And we reported this case about two years ago. You know, sometimes when the police have difficulty, they present the doctor to the attorney general to advise. So the last time I heard the attorney general on this matter, it's not mm -hmm. as if the case has been taken to him to advise. So the case is with IG Dampare and Madame Andokofi. Please, mm -hmm. you are letting us down. If you can't do the job, resign. Resign. There are so many people who can also do this job. Why is that public officers like to protect their offices too much? You think we, as we sit here, we, we don't suffer? We're also sacrificing. I sit here, I tell you, there are many government jobs. People recommend me. Once they see, they say, oh, this boy, this guy is NDC. I'm taking off. That's a price I'm paying. Yet I keep coming. Okay. Because I'm able to go to court and say, NDC and you have never voted for. Uh, exactly. When I've never voted for Mahama, yet I've lost, uh, 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 what do you call it, jobs, because I was perceived as NDC. Even where I used to work some years ago, you mm -hmm. know what? Just a short one or day. Hey, you see the same Galamse, illegal mining, etc. But that one, the government wanted to do bauxite mining in the Tua Forest, right? Mm -hmm. Then Arocha and a lot of NGOs came together and came to consult me. Long story short, we sued in court. The people I was with, they were not comfortable. They said, ah, Martin, how can you fight government? No, 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 we don't like such a thing. So you go to work in the morning, you don't know, you are called in, ah, why are you suing government on Etiwa Forest? Next thing, will you drop this case? I say no. So wow. in one or two minutes, I've lost my job. Okay, if you are not dropping the case, then there's no seat for you here. I so, see. Then that's it. So I lost my job. I had to just leave with wow. my uh, uh, this uh, Etiwa <laughs> Forest brief under my armpit. That was it. So we are all sacrificing. How can you take you lost your job yeah. because you yeah. sought to fight yeah. that attempted bauxite mining in a forest reserve. Uh, absolutely. Something that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, people from all over the world, yeah. remember the Titanic, that film, etc. Mm -hmm. Activists all over the world have called on Ekufuado to stop. He refused. So we went to court, and we are still in court. How many years? About six years now, right? We mm -hmm. are in court. So the point I'm making is that we are all sacrificing. Mm -hmm. We are all sacrificing, but you don't want to lose anything. You like to sit in the comfort of your office, enjoy everything, you see? So IG and Madam Andokofi, you thought you were dodging this uh, Akunta mining case, but we are back right where we started. You have to let this case go to court. Otherwise, that's the bloat on your record that you just came into office to help politicians. That's what you're doing. Okay. Ah.